What's going on guys, Mason here. So I have a computer project that's coming up pretty soon and I'll be making a separate video about that. But I thought I would take a moment to explain how you could turn your old DVR that you might have lying around from your old TV provider and how you could take it, dismantle it, and use the hard drive in it as extra storage for your own computer rig. When you go to record your TV shows to your DVR, the DVR is just recording it to a hard drive that's no different than the one that's in your computer system. So why not take your old DVR, dismantle it, take the hard drive out, and plug into your computer system and add 200, 300, 500 gigs of storage to your system. So without further ado, let me show you how easy it is to dismantle one of these guys and see what parts we can use for our computer. All right, well, we have our DVR, and we're gonna go ahead and take her apart and see what else we can find in there besides the hard drive, but our main goal is to get the hard drive out and repurpose it as a normal PC drive. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take her apart. The first step is when you go to take your DVR apart, you're gonna find a lot of these, I'm assuming they're hex screws with these little standoff pins in the middle. I'll probably put an image up on the screen so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. These little screws are almost impossible to get off without the specialty screw bit that you have to get to take them off. Um, you can pick them up at Lowe's or Home Depot for like 12 bucks for a little pack of them for different sizes. Or you could offer what I did obviously and just uh, bust off the back of the screws. And uh, I had our neighbor Chris help us out with that so I appreciate it. And uh, went ahead and took those off. Now we're going to pop the shell open and see what we can find on the inside of this guy. So right off the bat, it seems like we have our hard drive right here, Western Digital. Uh, I assume it might be a 500 gig? No, it's actually 320 gigs, so that explains why we <laughs> were running out of storage all the time when we were recording our movies and TV shows. Everyone was trying to fight for space on this little guy. Uh, but I'll see if there are any TV shows or any uh, episodes that we record that might still be on here. I'll make a video about that, how to how to get that off in the next part. Um, looks like it's SATA, so I'll obviously just be able to connect straight into my computer without any connectors. If you have an older DVR, presumably from like the late 90s or the early 2000s, which I'm not sure why you'd still have that, I thought you would have gotten an upgrade by now. But if you still have that kind of DVR from the early 2000s or earlier, it will most likely be a PETA drive or an older uh, connector on the back of here. PETA drives will be usable as well. In fact, if you can find one of those PETA drives in your DVR, I would really recommend keeping that and reformatting it and see if it works. Because believe it or not, PETA drives are becoming a little bit harder to come by nowadays. So if you find if you find one of those in your, uh, uh, if, your if you find one of those drives in your DVR, please keep it. Go ahead and keep it or sell it or do something with it. I'm sure you could find a purpose for an old PETA drive. There's plenty of applications out there for them that are only for PETA drives, but this one here is a SATA, so it will just hook straight up into my old PC. Uh, we can obviously use the data cable for it, and the power cable down here looks like it's proprietary. Yes, it it does look like it's proprietary to the actual uh, power board that's on here, so we won't be able to use that really. Um, this little phone jack connector, I really don't have a purpose for that. Or this little ribbon cable, there's not really anything I can do with that either. And then I'm assuming maybe these... Uh, I don't know, these uh, RCA connectors on the back here for uh, component and composite. Maybe even some of these little other connectors as well for Ethernet and such. I'm sure I could probably use those for something as well. I'm going to go ahead and take the hard drive out, take out the data connector, and then I'll leave the rest of it for another day and see if I need to take anything else off of it. But right now we're just going to take the hard drive and the data connector and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, well... Went ahead and got myself a pair of scissors just to get this little clip off right here. It looks like they zip tied this little SATA connector. Uh, other thing we could also use, is I didn't notice this over here, is there's a little fan that just plugs into its own little header. Now, I was going to demonstrate how to take apart the hard drive and get that out of its casing, but me and all of my geniusness, when I go to take this guy apart, I almost unscrewed the uh, the shell for the hard drive itself, which you're not supposed to do, or you will ruin the hard drive. It looks like the first thing I'll have to tackle is these plastic barriers themselves to to try to get them out. I mean, I mean this guy can just take it straight out, but this all here seems to be kind of screwed into place. And of course, it is in fact screwed into place with those specialty screws with the little standoffs. So. I, I want to make a revision to the checklist of tools you will need. 
you will need those specialty screws to get to get your DVR apart, or at least this DVR in particular, to take it apart and get those little screws. But chances are, if you have a direct TV box or satellite or whatever kind of DVR, the companies have probably invested in putting specialty screws everywhere inside these things. So you're going to have to go and buy one of those little bits, one of those little pack of bits, but surely enough, one of those will fit. I'll have to go buy one of those myself, and uh, I'll come back to you guys when I have this all set up and done, but that will be at a later date. I'll be right back. All right, a few days have passed, but I swung by Home Depot today and picked me up a screwdriver set with the, uh, with the included bits that I need, so I don't know if you can see that. But it does have the holes in the actual drill pieces, so I will be able to get in there and get the screws out. And if you're wondering for what this is, this is a Husky 30-piece ratchet screwdriver set, ratcheting screwdriver set. It cost me approximately $18.32, so if you're interested in that, well, that's how much it will cost. That's including tax. And there's all the included bits. You can't really buy them in just uh, standard little screwdrivers with just the one bit. You have to get the whole pack. In fact, this is the only one that they really even had. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try it out and see if it works. Now, how do you get these things out? See, you know you're failing at life when you're trying to figure out how to work a screwdriver. Aha! There we go. Not the right one. Son of a bitch! Um, oh, oh, two more we gotta take out right here, and we should be good to go. All right, so we have the drive and the whole caddy actually out of its place. Four screws at the bottom, they look like the normal hex screws without the standoff, but I got the ones with it, so oh well. These should work regardless. Knowing me trying to take off the top part of the hard drive when I first attempted this, I really, really hope I'm not, like, destroying the hard drive in the process of trying to get it out of this caddy. Seriously though, I really hope I'm not destroying this hard drive. Alright. And there we have it. A bare bones drive, Western Digital, 320 gigabytes, running at... I actually don't know what the RPMs are on this thing, that's interesting. Anyways, in the next step I'll show you how to wipe the hard drive clean and use it as secondary storage on your computer, as well as how to actually read the drive and pull any information that may still be on it before we wipe it. So if you have any TV shows, movies, or anything like that, I'll show you how to export those as MP4s and uh, Put them on your computer before you wipe the drive clean so you can get all your old recordings off of your old uh, DVR. Anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in part two and show you how to wipe the drive clean.